Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a recipe for Slimming World Sweet Corn Fritter. This one is actually from the magazine and I've made it before and it was really really nice. So it's from the August September 2017 issue, the one that looks like this and it's on page 65 Sweet Corn Fritter with Salsa and it's really really nice, it's really filling um, and it's, it's, it's really dead easy because you know I like my simple straightforward recipes so let's see what you all need and if I can do this without forgetting anything it will be a miracle so keep your fingers crossed so the first thing you'll need is your six eggs these are just medium for me um, again what I use are James Potter Yorkshire eggs these are really really nice so six eggs then what the recipe says is a 340 gram can of sweet corn kernels drained. Well I've got one here that's um, 325 grams and the drained weight is 260 so I've just got another little tin and then what I'll do is I'll make it up to 340 grams and I'll have some left over to add to salads and stuff so that's up to you. This can would probably be plenty um, but I do like to occasionally have a bit of sweet corn in the fridge just to add to my salads. Then it, it says one green pepper on the recipe but I don't like green pepper so I'm going to use a yellow pepper. Then you'll need a, a packet of spring onion. You'll need half the packet for your uh, fritter so you need spring onion and then you'll need some seasonings and what I'm going to use is mixed herbs and salt and pepper that's all I'm going to use for the fritter and then for the salsa which is optional you don't need to make it but I think it does make it nice um, you'll need um, tomatoes I'm going to use plum tomatoes it says 300 grams dice now I'm not going to make quite quite that much because I just want it for two servings this week and the other two servings will go in the freezer so I'm probably going to use about half a packet of tomatoes, um, a red pepper, the rest of the spring onions and the juice of the juice of two limes and I think I forgot this last time uh, but the recipe says one tablespoon of tomato puree so I'm going to try that and see what that's like and also it says a red chilli well I'm not too fussed about um, you know heat or spices so I'm just going to add some of this uh, smoked chilli and garlic uh, mix from this mill so like chilli flakes basically that's what I'm going to add so that's for the salsa so I will get chopping I've got my first pepper and half of my spring onion chopped I've also got my tins of sweet corn that have been drained in a colander and I've got my six eggs so we're just going to crack the eggs I told you I'd forget something didn't I you need a large frying pan and if it's one that will also go under the grill that's all the better um, but what you just need to do is if it isn't one that's suitable for under the grill you just need to make sure that the handle is right out of the grill um, and you use a tea towel to grab hold of the handle so yeah we want six eggs and this recipe serves for, um, it doesn't say suitable for freezing, but I did freeze a couple of portions and it was okay. Um, it tasted okay, it didn't taste as nice, uh, but that's up to you if you want to um, reduce the ingredients or if you have got a big family and you want to eat four portions, uh, it will keep in the fridge for quite a few days. Um, 
for a knot sense it will be fine. Andrew's mowing the lawn and it, it beat the eggs. eggs because the mix is more yellow. I'll just give them a quick beat. Then I'm just going to, you don't necessarily need to uh, weigh your sweet corn, but I'm just going to, um, just so I know roughly how much I'm putting in. So it says 340 gram can drained. So we'll put about yeah, that's 3.30, and then that leaves me a little bit to eat during the week. So again, that's totally up to you if you don't want to add that much. Um, just add to your taste. So that's the sweet corn in, and then we've got our diced pepper and spring onion. And then we want to add our herbs, salt, pepper, and mixed herbs. Oh, today's it. And then we just want to give that another mix. Just to make sure it's all coated and nicely combined. Let's see what the next step is. Change of uh, angle uh, because we're over at the cooker. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your grill. So my grill's preheating. Um, but first we need to fry it off in the pan. So I've sprayed my pan with fry light. I always use the butter one. Um, and heated it and then turned it down to a me medium heat. Here's my mix again, the eggs, sweet corn, peppers and um, spring onions and herbs and then you just want to try and get that into a me an even distribution. Over the pan and it says fry that for five to six minutes or until the top starts to set. We'll leave that cooking away. And what I'm going to do while that's um, cooking is I'm going to start preparing my salsa. Right, that's been on actually probably about 10 minutes and you start to see a colour around the edges and you actually start to smell it as well, smell the sweet corn. So what, then what we do is we put it under the grill to finish off and just as I say, leave that handle outside of the grill and use a tea towel and you'll be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to finish that off under the grill and I'll carry on with my um, salsa prep. I've chopped some of the veg for my salsa so I've got my red pepper there then I've got about half a punnet of uh, plum tomatoes there. I've got three spring onions. I've already squeezed one and a half limes. I'm just going to squeeze the last half of my lime. Quick tip, uh, just stick your limes in 10 seconds in the microwave and you'll get a lot more juice out of them. Keep 
keeping an eye on the time for the uh, fritter. So there's my lime juice. Obviously you can do all the chopping yourself, but I have this little mini chopper. I think Andrew got it from Amazon. So I've just chopped everything roughly. Um, so there goes the pepper. And the onion, spring onion. And the tomatoes. Very handy is this because all you do is pull the string like that. Right, so I'll come back to you when that's all chopped and add the rest of the ingredients. I will show you this properly from the other angle, but just while we've got it like this, um, this has been under the grill for literally five minutes because it was quite hot with it being preheated, and that is done. So I'm going to leave that to one side and as I say, we'll show you it again properly, but that's the sweet corn fritter done. We'll just leave that over there for a second. So now to my salsa, you can see I've, uh, it's chopped quite finely. So I'm going to add my juice of two limes. Then I did forget this last time, so I'm just going to... Uh, try it and see what it's like this time. So one tablespoon of tomato puree. I'll just give that a good squeeze in there. I'm not going to get a spoon out just for the sake of it. And then I'm just going to put a few grinds of this smoked chilli and garlic mix. As I say, if you like heat, then by all means chop up a chilli or you can get frozen chilli from uh, like Aldi or Tesco, garlic might be nice, it will I'm putting a bit of garlic in it as well, in this uh, grinder thing. It, I know it doesn't sound like it's grinding, but there are actually flecks going in. I'll pop the lid back on. Let's give that another little mix, and then we'll we'll put it into a bowl. So there we go, guys. That's the sweet corn fritter out of the pan, just to cool down. And as I say, that will serve four. So cut it in half, cut it in half, so a quarter each. Um, it is more filling than it looks because it's got a big tin of sweet corn in, six eggs and pepper. And if you serve it with a rocket salad and cucumber, then that will keep you full for ages. And serve it with a good dollop of this um, salsa as well. And as I say, I am going to freeze half. And it tastes okay frozen, um, but if you can eat it fresh within two or three days, then it will be nicer. But it's just handy to have something in the freezer, just that's dead, quick and simple. That's taken me about 15 minutes to make, even including the salsa. So there you go, guys. Sweet confiter with salsa. Any comments, please put them below. Any comments or questions? Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.